people welcome to the crafty diamond I am Debbie I am going to be working on my massive cross stitch conversion project today I am doing this with you guys once a month around the 15th got a little behind on it for this month but I am working on it I have not picked this up since the last time that we were together which was towards the end of February I think but I am still right where I was. I'm hoping to pick this up some more um, this week even, but I really like so far how the little parasol, the umbrella is coming out. And also I like the curtains here. And this is a Stitch in Time by Amy Stewart and purchased from Heaven and Earth Designs. I did purchase my drills from ever moment and also my canvas from ever moment so i am going to be working on these four right here and i'm going to have to flip this around and try to get it to where it's centered um, for you guys but i need to be able to have it um, a little different from where i'm working on and i'm also going to go over some comments and on the comments, I started on the comments back um, at the end of February, first part of March. So for the first 10, 15 minutes on my comments, some of the comments actually have already happened, um, such as me still working on the moon diamond painting from Diamond Painting Shop. I actually have completed that. But um, other than that, um, everything is pretty much okay. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are not familiar with a cross stitch conversion, I will put the playlist over at the top of the eye there and you can go back and um, look at that. But basically a cross stitch conversion is you have a cross stitch pattern and you are going to convert that to a diamond painting by using a blank canvas just like this one so I do use pattern keeper and that helps me a lot um, to count where I need to be and I just went through counted all of the the actual sections that I have to go just count each of the 10 by 10s and if I can do four of these um, a day I can finish by the end of July. So that's not really that much to do um, per day if I break it out that way. I would love to have this completed by the end of July. So I may start going for that. Instead of doing daily, I may just do weekly and then just mark off how many that I've done. So that would be another challenge for me. Um, if I can't get it finished, then I'm fine with that too. But um, we'll see how it goes. I do love doing this. Um, I think this one is rather pixelated, but it does start to look better. It is coming together. You can see the woman down here and you can also see some books. I can get to the top. There are books all up at the top. I do like those. This one is kind of pixelated, but you can see there's a woman there. The worst one, I think, is this brown. I do not like this at all. There's a woman in there somewhere. She's through here, and I checked, and I did not miss anything, so I don't know why it's so pixelated. I'm hoping that when I get over to this section here that I will see something that is going to tie it into this. But the drills are very shiny. I do like how it's coming out. Another part of my favorite is the end here. I do like that, the start of this. I don't know if it's a window or what. But let's start with our first comment. This is from Christina 406 Diamond says, Hi Debbie, my husband loves to drive. Ever since our eldest daughter moved to Tennessee, we drive there from Montana at least twice a year. It's a 36 hour drive. But we try to take different routes so we can see new places. And she says she would prefer to fly. And I cannot imagine being in the car and having to drive 36 hours. I mean, I know you have to stop on the way, and I get that. But that is so long to be cooped up with just two of you in the car. In our case, that would be three because of Paige. And we were just looking at a 19-hour drive, 
and I just don't see how I can do it. I mean, I know if I had to that I could, and I do think that taking different routes, now that I could handle because you could stop at different places and do some sightseeing, walking around. That could be a nice vacation if you don't have to worry about um, time constraints. But that is really dedication. And I am from the Tennessee, Arkansas area, so I do love Tennessee, but even driving from Montana, that's just, that's wild. But I hope that um, you enjoyed watching my video and maybe you can listen to some of my videos as a podcast while your husband is driving next time. So thanks so much, Christina. And the next one is from the Diamond Stitcher and says Diamond Art Club points. Um, every time you purchase, your expiration date does move. You have to make at least one purchase in six months to keep your points. Otherwise, they will expire on your birthday. And um, this was done to prevent people from taking advantage of Diamond Art Club and scoring free birthday points without purchasing. Next time, maybe move the camera over so the area you are diamond painting is in the center. And um, thanks so much, Alyssa. I really do appreciate um, your um, comment and your tip. And um, especially the information on Diamond Art Club. And if you have not heard, they um, have changed the way that they do set up the points. Um, at one point, it what didn't expire. And so now that they do, um, so make sure that you watch your points. And I am definitely watching mine because I use my Diamond Art Club points. I try to wait until I get enough points where I can purchase a couple of diamond paintings and not have to pay anything. But um, that is few and far between lately because I'm trying not to purchase. Um, but and I do appreciate um, the information about the camera. Sometimes on my massive project, it's really hard to get that in the center because it is so large. And the way that my camera mount is, it's um, really hard to, for me to be able to put the camera mount where it needs to be and me also be able to see. But I will definitely um, take that into consideration. And so thanks so much, Alyssa. And um, the next one is from Wendy Haas 4914 says, yes, I learned doing the three advents at Christmas that if you use cover paper to cover the canvases and uncover a section, work on it till it's filled, and then she switches over to the next one. Um, in January, um, she worked on three. Um, she finished one completely, um, but she also worked on all of her special drill projects from Diamond Art Club, Add More Zest, and Amazon. So you were really busy in January. Um, kitted up two more kits. So now she's working on four canvases each day, working a cover sheet section each time, and she's it's going very well. And she said that's what she has been doing. Um, she never worked on more than one until December. So that's a great idea to, to switch up and just do one cover section at a time. And I thought about doing that also. I'm going to see how um, that works in March because I really want to spend March on my work in progress and then April um, hits my Josephine Wall diamond painting, the new one, I'm hard and heavy. And that's kind of what I'm planning on doing for March. Um, I do have one that I want to finish. I have about 30 by 40 section left and that one is from Diamond Painting Shop. That is a whip that has been around way too long. I want to get it finished. It's gorgeous. I just keep working on something else instead of getting back to that one. And then also I have a Diamond Painting Deutschland from last year that I would love to get finished in March if there's any way possible. And then start on my new Diamond Painting Deutschland in April. March is going to be extremely crazy for me. I have a lot going on. I'm going to be out of town quite a bit. I will not get nearly as much diamond painting in as I typically do. So I'm not expecting to get very many finishes done. But if I work on my work in progress, at least I have a good start and a possible finish. So um, we'll, we'll definitely see how March goes for me. Um, but thanks so much, Wendy. I um, really appreciate your comment. The next comment is from Deborah Allender, 7444. 
says, Hi Debbie, I haven't caught a whip and chat for a while, it seems. Your diamond painting is so pretty. I got excited hearing about Paige's bookstore purchase. Love my books. I've listened to three audiobooks this week as I've had terrible insomnia. I started a journey with... She says that she started a journey crocheting in January. And she listens to a book and she does some crochet until she can finally sleep. And then she says this AI stuff is confusing to me. It's difficult for me to distinguish from the real information. That's where I need help. Great chat. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks so much, Deborah. And yeah, I have a hard time distinguishing AI as well. Sometimes I can really tell. I am getting better with it. But sometimes it's hard to distinguish what is original and what's not. So I totally get that. I hate that you have insomnia. I have been having the same lately. And I just get up and start doing something. I don't see a point in just laying there. At least I am getting something accomplished. Hope that you're able to sleep um, better soon, Deborah. And thanks for commenting. The next one is also from Deborah. This is Deborah Call. 9308 says, Hi Debbie, how are you doing? Yesterday they got over 9 inches of snow. They also had a big blizzard. A lot of trees lost, branches because of the weight of the snow. Um, also canceled church. Um, she's about halfway done um, with Sakura. She's not sure if she spelled that right. And then she says, What happened to spring? And I cannot believe you've gotten that much snow. That is crazy. Now, this was um, posted about two weeks ago, but I know that some friends of mine um, that live in Colorado are also getting snow still. And so that just blows my mind that, you know, it should be spring. And here, um, several of you are getting snow. Um, we're getting more just cold weather, which is a little unusual for us. It is typically warmer here than it has been lately. So thanks so much, Deborah. The next one is from Carrie Conlon, 9870. Says, hi, what a day you had at work without power and heat. It's so important to have an emergency plan. Good thinking, and you are so right. It's hard to disconnect in case there's an emergency. And then she said, yes, that seminar was a big disappointment and a complete waste of time. She thought it was going... <laughs> She thought it was going to be really helpful. She's so glad that I feel the same way. And Carrie and I attended the same AI artificial intelligence seminar. And I don't know what we were expecting, but neither one of us got what we expected. I was so disappointed with that seminar because I thought it was going to be totally different than what it was. It was enlightening. It gave me some information regarding AI and it even more solidified that I do not want to use AI in my classroom or especially during any of my gradings. Thanks, Carrie. And I feel the same way with um, having you as a colleague and also a good friend. The next comment is from Elizabeth Warman says, hi Debbie, good morning from Southern California. Um, she says, love your whipping chats. Like you, I will not be in any events. Just mentioning events causes me to go into anxiety and panic. And um, she also said that she went to physical therapy yesterday and it was shorter um, than it normally was. Um, she also said that my gazebo sounds nice and she has a small front patio. She has to step down to enter, which means that she doesn't. She has a phobia with stairs, curbs, escalators, and then she says, never mind the spiders and clowns. And I totally get you on the clowns because, you know, I've mentioned that before, and I do not like clowns either. I think they're very creepy. She also says that Herschel, which is her dog, got his shot on Friday. He was a very good boy. She was so glad that she has found my channel, and she says, keep up the great work. And thanks so much, Elizabeth. I hope that you are feeling better. And 
when it comes to spiders and also clowns you can also add in their snakes for me i refuse to even go into the reptile house at the zoo i just hate snakes i don't care what kind of snake it is i do not like them and for some reason on my facebook feed i keep getting all of these videos that has reptiles between alligators and crocodiles and then snakes i don't know where those are coming from and i even put on there don't show these and i'm still getting them so i don't know what has caused me to get those but i do not like them at all and thanks for your response and the next one is from k whittington 4612 says hi debbie i frame a lot of my diamond paintings myself in order to save money with paint gems, she usually uses double-sided tape to adhere them to the frame backing. If she feels like that isn't enough, she can also add some clear adhesive photo corners. And she says, I probably have those in my scrapbook stash. And she also says that for larger canvases, she staples them to the frame backing and she uses ribbon to cover the canvas edges and the staples. She says, hope this helps with framing your butterf butterflies. And thanks so much, Kay. I did take your advice. I did use the double-sided adhesive tape, um, and I adhered those to the frame backing, and that works out perfectly. They are not moving anywhere on my butterfly frames. I love that frame, but I have tried to frame those several times before um, your tip and they kept falling down and they looked awful so i almost just gave up on that frame and then tried the double-sided tape and it works out perfectly so thanks so much for that tip i am definitely going to use that going forward and i haven't tried using the photo corner so that is going to be the next option but i really do appreciate that and the next one is from um, wendy haas 4914 says looks great so far and this was on my whip and chat where i was still working on the moon and that one i have finished and i love how it turned out i do have a video of the completion on that one and that's one of my canvases from last year so i was able to mark off one of my goals for 2024 in completing 11 out of my whip and my whips from last year still working on them moving forward though I have 10 more to go so the next one is from sherry sterner 5276 she likes how i have the beginning with the music set up um, she assumes the camera is all right she diamond paints while i am talking so she doesn't look at her phone and she really enjoys videos and she always watches. So thanks so much, Sherry. I do appreciate it. That definitely helps me out. I have decided I'm going to have the music first and then the intro. I had several people um, that are creators that have a substantially higher number of subscribers. And they were telling me that's the way to go, but I did it. And for me, I didn't really like how it worked out. I also asked several of you, and then I made a comment in one of the whipping chats. And so that's what um, she was referring to. So thanks so much, Sherry. I do appreciate that. The next one is Jonna Woods 726 says, Hi, Debbie. I like the way you open this video, intro, then music. Looking forward to spring to really enjoy your videos. And, you know, thanks so much um, for the comment. And as I mentioned, I was going back and forth and back and forth. And I had to just think about that for a while and decided that it just felt weird to me. So I went ahead and just kept the music first. So I hope that everybody is okay with that. So thanks, I'm Donna. The next one is from Deborah Call 9308 says hi i enjoyed how you started this video it is hard to hear of so many businesses quitting she used to be a close to my heart demonstrator a long time ago too she has an order coming from heartfelt creations she likes the quality of their stuff too she was sad when she heard they were also leaving they did announce that they were going to be doing digital supplies not something that she's interested in 
She's been going thrift shopping for junk journal supplies, and she's been having way too much fun. And then she says, of course, diamond painting comes first. And I totally agree with you on Close to My Heart. I was so sad to hear that um, they have closed. I have several stamps from Close to My Heart as well as stamp pads. I was a demonstrator a long time ago for Close to My Heart for a short time. And then I went to um, Stampin' Up! But I am really saddened to hear that because they were one of the first ones um, behind Creative Memories that um, started with um, scrapbooking. And then also, I'm really sad about Heartfelt Creations. I do love their flowers, and I use those in my cards, and their stamps stamp perfectly. And um, Emma Lou, one of the owners, or the owner's daughter, I met her at a scrapbook expo a couple of few years ago, I guess. That was um, right after um, the pandemic. And she was just super sweet. So I am glad that I was able to meet her in person. And like you, the digital just doesn't do it for me. The digital supplies, I've tried that before and it was okay, but I don't like to fussy cut which means that's what you'd have to do on everything. And I do have a Brother Scan and Cut, and it works okay on you know, certain stamps. It does better than others, but digital is not where I want to go. So I totally agree with you on that one. I have heard that Heartfelt is going to have what they're calling some staple supplies that you can actually order don't know what that's going to look like yet, so I am curious to see what exactly that they are going to have. I'm assuming paper, possibly um, their glue, it wasn't their glue, but glue that they sold. And that was a very popular glue, so they may keep that going, and it is one of my favorites. So hopefully um, it will be a place that I can order from. So, and thanks so much for your comments. The next one is from Craftyish Kristen. It says, allergies are the worst. She likes music both ways, and she loves that the cat is enjoying the bird bath most of all. She has a dream cart only. It was not worth the price. It's target quality materials for Pottery Barn prices. Totally get you on that one. She um, says, close to my heart, closed. I remember buying their stuff years ago. Um, she was a stamping up demonstrator once upon a time. It's hard to finish projects when we keep getting ones we want to work on. And yes, definitely on that one. My um, husband went and purchased a bird bath. And we've been talking about it for a very long time. And we did it in the front yard. And so Salem, our cat, can sit on her perch. We call it her throne. And she can sit up there and she has a direct view of the bird bath. And it's still really early, but we've had a couple of birds that have come in and to, just to drink the water. We had one bird that braved the water and got in, jumped out really quick and started drying off, flapping its wings and flying around. I guess it was cold, but the cat is just absolutely enamored by this bird bath. So it's going to be really fun when they really do start to use it this summer. And I agree on the dream cart i do have the scrap box mine is scrap box 2.0 it was their second version and i purchased mine years and years ago so it is very very old i am going to be selling it and they now have what they call the dream box they have changed the scrap box they have revamped it and it looks so much better. It looks like it's more sturdy. It is very expensive, though. It takes up a lot of space. I do not use that anymore. And I decided I wanted something else for my craft room. I'm going in a different direction. And so my husband has built me some shelves. And I am trying to get everything out of my scrap box so I can sell it. Hopefully, I can get a couple hundred dollars out of it. You know, something's better than nothing. And I've had it for so long, I've definitely gotten my, my money's worth out of it. And with the dream cart, I thought, well, this will be perfect when the dream cart came out. And the, 
The dream cart is just a long table. You can raise the sides up so you can make the table longer. And then it has some shelves at the side. My shelves are forever falling down. And I just gave up. And then the dream cart is just not very sturdy. It's almost like particle board. And it might even be. I don't know. But I'm probably going to sell that one also. And just get me a regular table or a small desk. And that's what I'm going to make my cards on. So that way I can keep my card making and my journaling separate from my diamond painting table. I do not like having anything else on my diamond painting table especially if I'm making cards I do not want to have ink and just run the fear of having it on my table not noticing it and then it runs across my diamond painting I would not be happy so I totally agree with you on that one on the dream cart and it was pricey to have shipped too so and um, thanks so much for your comments and I definitely I can't recommend it. I wish I could, but unless they've changed it, I can recommend the Dream Box because my scrap box is amazing and the Dream Box is it looks so much better, but it is pricey for what you get. The next comment is <coughs> The next comment is from Elizabeth Warman 9028 says, "Hi Debbie, good evening from Southern California." Enjoyed your whip and chat. Just listen to your whip and chat. Her dog Herschel is at her feet. He did get up and go out to where she sits in the kitchen. Barks out the window at a plant. She also says, poor baby, he is not eating much. She thinks he's getting tired of Beneful. Uh, maybe she will try Bill Jack Kibble. Still working on Golden Cocker Spaniel by Peggy Collins, 98% 310. Just divided the canvas up in 10 by 8 centimeters. This is best for her brain. And because of sciatica in her left leg, she is standing to diamond paint, which a lot of fellow diamond painters think is pretty cool. She also says spring also makes her depressed. She suffers from clinical depression, which is worse in springtime. And she said her mom's mom used to say a lot of people die in April. And then she says, yes, grandma, off from the Titanic. She worked for J.J. Astor and knew several who died. Plus those who lived told my grandma nightmare stories. She also says, have fun tasting food this weekend. Also, happy St. Patrick's Day on Sunday and drive safely. And I'm glad that you're almost finished with your Cocker Spaniel. And I know that you have been working on that for a while. You struggled with that some. So that is really cool. And I also like how you divided the canvas up in 10 by 8 centimeters. Because working on one section at a time and just focusing on that one. And don't think about the other sections of your canvas. That really does help. Um, it helps me anyway. It also um, gives me the satisfaction that I did finish a section. So that is really good. And then also, um, there are several that like to stand and diamond paint. And I have a table that I have to manually, or I can manually raise up and down. And a lot of times I get tired of sitting and I'll just raise my table up and I'll stand for a while. And that definitely helps my back. It gets me stretchy and it gets me going. Um, so that definitely is an option. And glad that you can do that also. And poor Herschel. I hope that he starts to eat and that he does get better very soon. He looks like a very sweet boy. You sent me a picture and he is so sweet and so cute. And I'm sure that you pamper him. The next comment is from Kay Whittington 4612 says, Hi Debbie, I'm currently working on an older Diamond Art Club Spangler kit, The Literate Dragon. And um, she's about two thirds of the way through. Um, it's been slow going, so expect it will take another few weeks to finish. And um, she also got a new kit from Jay that she'll be doing for Summer with the Masters. So she wants to get the Spangler finished. And then she says, unlike you, I only have one whip going at a time. So I have to get this one done and kitted down so I can start the new one. 
and I wish I was like you cake I really really do but I I'm just not I've tried and I don't want to say I can't do it I could force myself to do it but I just enjoy so much of a variety and um, I am doing better this year because I'm only working on three rotating and then trying to get some that's out of my stash done. So I think that three is that good, perfect number for me. But I'm glad that um, you are working on the Literate Dragon. I've seen that one. I don't have it, um, but I've seen that one finished and it is really cute. And I bet you, whatever you got from Jade, I bet that it is absolutely gorgeous. And I bet you it is going to be a lot of confetti. So have fun with that one. Can't wait to see um, what you're working on. The next one is from Craftyish Kristen. It says, working on my first kit from a Pam diamond painting. It's so cool about the student being a diamond painter. Too bad she couldn't order some things and have them mailed to her hotel room before and go back home. So I um, mentioned in my whip and chat that I had a exchange student from Germany and who um, I met through work and she also diamond painted and really enjoyed talking to her about that and also um, gave her a couple of my diamond paintings and she is putting that in her suitcase. Hopefully it will fit going home, but that was a lot of fun. I have not ordered anything from Pam Diamond Paintings yet, so really curious um, whenever you finish it what you think of your painting. So um, definitely let me know or I will watch your channel and I will see your review on it. The next one is from Jennifer Deacon 2375 says, Hi Debbie, I'm wrapping up a whip working on Diamond Art Club's The Witches Study Room. Started last year doing the Cheryl Baker event. She has about third left to finish, and she says that she's hoping to complete before the end of the month. She's going to kit up her diamond painting Deutschland J Wall soon for the April event. And Cheryl Baker is one of my favorite artists. I just really love her. I've only completed one of her paintings, but I have several. And so that's one of the very few events that I plan on participating in this year. I definitely um, want to participate in Cheryl Baker. Hopefully it will be um, at a good time where I'll be able to do it. If not, I'm definitely going to complete one of hers sometime this year. And I do have the Witches Study Room. That one um, I am looking forward to. Not even sure which one that I want to work on next of hers. I guess it will just depend whenever I get to that one. I'm glad that you are going to be joining the event for our J Wall um, in April. I still have not kitted up my new one. I am going to be good. And this is for you, Kay. I am going to be good. And I am not going to kit up a new J Wall until I finish the one that I'm working on. That is my incentive and I am going to be good. So you need to um, keep me in line, girl. Just keep me in line. And I think I will be just fine. And um, thanks so much, Jennifer, for your comment. I do appreciate that. And definitely looking forward to J Wall and Cheryl Baker. And um, the next one is from Renee Stevens, 7720. It says, good evening. Hope your dog is going better. I'm still working on Camilla Lady by Mandy Manzano, a little over halfway done. I've been watching, um, been, oh my gosh, sorry, I just um, lost my place. A little over halfway done, and she's been watch, working on this canvas on and off since November. The past week, um, she had a hard time working on canvas due to spasms and neuropathy. I'm not sure how much she will be able to complete before next surgery on Wednesday, March the 20th. And not sure how long after surgery um, she'll be able to work on the canvas some. And then she says, um, have a great night. I have Camilla Lady and I plan on working on that one. 
Um, I do have some older diamond paintings and that is one that is one of the older ones in my stash. I love Mandy Manzano, so that is another artist that I definitely follow. I have a lot of her paintings and definitely I'm um, looking forward to seeing your completion, Renee. Hope that your surgery goes well and hope that does help um, with the spasms and then also um, with the neuropathy. Deborah Call says that she says, Debbie, your life sounds so busy right now. And she's thrilled to hear about Diamond Painting Deutschland being involved in the J Wall events. Sounds like you had fun with the students from Germany. Enjoyed listening to your kid ups and downs. Gives me more to listen to. And um, she misses my Saturday whipping chats. She doesn't watch very many of the unboxings. She's now on the last row of her current diamond paintings. Then she plans to pick a J wall for the event. And honestly, I don't watch a lot of unboxings either because if I do, I'm going to want the painting and then I'm going to probably purchase said painting. But I've gotten so much better with not doing that um, because I'm trying to get my stash down a little bit. But um, I totally get it on the unboxings because it just makes me want more and more paintings. If I stay away from the unboxings, then I tend not to want to purchase more. So totally get you on that one. Um, and Diamond Painting Deutschland is going to be in the J Wall event. They're going to sponsor. And I was so excited when I received that email. I was surprised and excited at the same time. And um, good luck on which diamond painting that you're going to pick up for the J Wall event. Looking forward to seeing your progress on our Facebook group. And then also just seeing what painting that you're going to choose. And if you guys are not part of my Facebook group, I would love to have you if you are on Facebook. It is the Crafty Diamond. I have the group link underneath the description. Would love to have you. And then feel free to post your whips. You can post starts or any other comments that you would like. And we have fun on there. I have quite a few new followers now and um, that's on Facebook and I do love that. Carrie Conlin 9870 says, um, Debbie, that is really cool. You had a student observer help you with the translation. That was so sweet to give her some diamond paintings. Congrats on getting the sponsor. And um, she's so sorry that Georgia changed the requirements. Um, she does hope that we get a week off. Um, super busy. You're super busy. Hang in there. And our summer semester summer term rather has changed how they're doing it i'm not sure if they're giving us that week off or if we have to take a vacation if we don't get the week off and we have to take a vacation i am just going to work it will still be quiet i can work from home because i am assuming that the campus will be closed but if not then i may go in um so i'm not sure yet but Either way, um, it is going to be nice to have that break, but it's a break that's right at the beginning of July, so really close to us finishing the semester, but it's still going to be a nice um, break to look forward to. The next one is from um, Lisa Neuf says, Hi Debbie, sounds like the German student really connected with you regarding diamond painting, but she is really excited about the paintings you gave her. That was sweet of you. And she agrees um, with her to take other things out of her suitcase and um, to fit the diamond paintings. And then she says, LOL. And definitely, when I told my student, I said, I, uh, or the student, I said, I hope that um, you have room in your suitcase for these. You know, if not, then, you know, don't, no worries. I don't, I'll just keep them. And she was so excited. She said, no, I will leave something here behind if I have to, but I'm taking the diamond paintings with me. So I thought, yeah, you know your priorities just like me. I would do the same thing. I wouldn't give up diamond paintings, especially really nice ones or any of them for that matter, that were licensed um, and leave them and not leave something else. So that would be definitely me, something that I would do. I could definitely see that. So thanks so much, Lisa. 
Okay, you guys, I am going to stop here. It's been almost an hour and I've gotten almost all of this done on these four sections. So I'm really excited about that. It actually came up to 278 stitches, which is 278 drills. I am now at 33.9%. So I am happy with my progress. I'll be really happy when I see that 50%, um, but that's going to be a while. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you were able to get something done if you wanted to. And if you have any questions regarding cross stitch conversions, I'll be glad to answer them for you. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Um, this does take a lot of work to do. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you have not subscribed, be sure to do so. I have other videos that are going to be coming out soon. You can also hit that notification bell and be one of the first to be notified of any future uploads. Hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.